I'd like to share some notes here on a compost dividing or compost organizing system that I'm experimenting with that so far feels really promising, pretty low cost, very modular, very easy to set up. So hopefully this is gonna be useful to some folks. With our chicken system, as a lot of you already know, a common issue that we bump up against is that we run out of room to thoughtfully organize compost. In our winter run in this high tunnel, uh, we've definitely have limited space. You can see on the north side there, it's the piles reduced since the last video I've made, but this is probably about two to three feet thick and we need to keep it moving, but also keep it organized. So periodically I can open this flap on the north side. It's sealed right now since we've had cold nights to preserve the warmth in there. But once I open that up, I can toss it into this next area. And for a while what I was doing, well, I've tried a few different things and I still like using the welded wire rings little tree guard protector loops so basically compost rings and that's still serving a nice function for the start of all this on the east side but for a little while I was trying working with milk crates as dividers between compost areas uh, I had concerns around that plastic being exposed to the heat they're also a little bit hard to move once they're buried and so this design is very simple and um, what I'm working with are these half inch EMT conduit tubes. I've talked in another video about how we bend these and you can check that out if you're interested. But what's nice about these, they're galvanized. They're really not very reactive. They, they, We have some that are 10 years old that are still in really good shape. They're very easy to push into the ground. So to get the basic uh, start of this, it only takes about 10-15 seconds for me to push two of these in and have them overlap a little bit. And then I'm just using scraps of wood. I cut them roughly to four feet long in this case with an electric chainsaw. In this case, they're black locust, but wherever there's a local mill, you might be able to find slab wood that you can get for very low price. I got a truckload for $25 and some of it was turned into firewood. A lot of it was turned into these uh, slabs. And as I start to move the compost and fill it in, the nice thing with these slats or slabs is I can add them as I go up. So up to three feet or higher, can simply just add a board, add a board, add a board. And then when it's time to empty these out, these simply slip, slip out without a big deal. So I can pull them out from the sides. These pull out very easily if I need to access and we can rearrange this on a, on a moment's notice. You can see I set all the milk crates aside. We're letting those dry out or, or wash out a little bit and I'll find other uses for them. We still like sprouting things in them. They're still nice in a single course in a composting operation to differentiate from raw food scraps to the next stage. So we'll fold these back into the flow earlier on, but for bulk uh, separating of bays, this system seems like it's quite promising. Now, if I didn't have access to slab wood, but I did have access to heat treated pallets, any pallets that say HT on them, I could probably swap those out just as easily and work with those. And for now, we don't have a particularly intensely cold moment. And so we're leaving the first bay, which is this one. This is receiving the most raw food scrap compost from the high tunnel. The second bay, which we've bulked out with a tremendous amount of leaves in order to accumulate lots and lots of heat. We're leaving that open for now so the chickens can still look for seeds and sprouts and get some value from that. Um, the third bay, which is where we have compost that's finishing, I'm simply taking scraps of greenhouse poly and laying it over and then pinning down the sides with compost so that it makes a little bit of an air trap to keep moisture, uh, the moisture levels in, but not allow snow and rain to infiltrate. We want this to now start mellowing. I have a whole pile of these half inch EMT conduit pipes because when I bought them originally, it was way less money to buy them in bulk. And so I just made a hundred some odd hoops. Uh, they store nicely and are great for low tunnels in the field when we need them. But in the winter months, using six for this purpose and a couple slabs of wood feels like a really great way to keep things organized and let us have the compost that keeps piling up in this area come out to a meaningful start and a second bay and a finishing bay. And then this can finally leave. Getting this organized has been very, very helpful to us. Certainly not any sort of earth shattering innovation there, but uh, maybe for some folks that are trying to manage relatively large compost piles in a home scale or small farm scale landscape, there's some aspects of this that can be useful. Share some notes. Let me know uh, where we could be upgrading this or improving it. And there you go. Let me know if you have any questions too. Thanks for watching.